Hey out there, it's Thursday, just after 5 p.m. Earlier I made a video about the back room over at the Kingsburg house, because I finished that up, it's all painted. And Ray, the flooring extraordinaire, she's coming over tomorrow to put the indoor-outdoor carpet back there. Now I went back and forth about like colored walls and pops of color and different things like that, but it's a mud room. It is what it is. It's all white. It's flat white on the, on the walls and semi-gloss on the trim. Looks nice and clean and it's perfect the way that it is. But it didn't have that like, you know, like before and after. Like, ooh, look at how different it is. So, I was thinking. Diana and I went out to a couple st estate sales. I mentioned that in the one video. and She got a bunch of stuff that I don't even know where we were going to put it. I'm going to show you some of that stuff. But we scored. I scored at one of the estate sales. I got like a little mini craps game. So I want to show you guys a little bit about craps because I've talked to people about playing craps down in Atlantic City and they're like, oh, it looks like it would be fun, but it's intimidating and I don't feel like walking up to the table and looking like an idiot. So let me show you a little bit about craps. Before I show you that, this is a find that Diane got this table. She got that basket and that stuff that we're supposed to hang up on the wall. She got that basket thing that you could sit on. She's so happy that she could sit on that too. We got this uh, centerpiece thing right here and a bunch of other baskets. So let me show you. This is the craps game. Now, when I found this craps game, hold on. This is how it was down in the basement of this pretty big house that we went to in a state sale. I was like, holy cow, I've been looking for one of these. And I was hoping that when I picked the top up, and yes, there was a craps game underneath. You even got a little roulette wheel in there. Now I told Diane, check that out, Diane got that made. I was like so excited about finding a craps board, craps game, but I sold it to Diane this way because they wanted 75, but I think they, she, got her, she got them down to like 60. And I said how excited I was because it would be like game night with the kids coming over. We'll play like a casino game, really. I just wanted it so I could play with it by myself. So, this is a miniature version of a real craps table. Now, a real craps table is, I'd have to look, but it's huge. It's got to be, I don't know, probably 15 to 20 feet long. And you got a bunch of people that could fit around it. The intention of this video is to help someone that's never played craps before. Because I've talked to a couple of people face to face and through YouTube and through like instant messenger and stuff like that about how they feel intimidated when they go up to the craps table. You know, they don't know what they're doing. They don't want to seem like an idiot. And in New Jersey, <laughs> I don't know if it's like this in other states, but in New Jersey, I guess you could feel a little bit more intimidated because you're thinking, oh, these guys have been playing craps for like 50 years. And, uh, you know, I'm not going to know what I'm doing. It's not really like that, but I understand where you're coming from. This is gonna be the most basic. If you walk up to the craps table, this is what you could say, and this is what you can do in order to get into the game. You could be confident that you're not gonna look like an idiot. And then once you're there, then you could talk to the dealers about other bets that you might wanna make or, or, or any kind of questions. Because from my experience, the craps dealers down in Atlantic City are some of the nicest uh, dealers in the casino. Before I say any more, if you want to learn more about craps from a guy that does like professional videos and like can answer any question you have, like I watch his videos all the time. Matter of fact, I was just watching one. It was about, uh, what was it about? Oh, placing the inside numbers and then hedging your bet with laying the four and 10. Now that sounds complicated. Even when I said it, it sounded complicated. But I know what that means. But in order to get to that point, you should probably watch a couple videos. So the name of that, YouTube channel is Color Up. Color Up, just like it sounds. Color Up. And if you watch it, he has tutorials on everything. He's interesting. He's professional. I sent him, <laughs> I sent him an idiot message the other day. Uh, I had a question for him that was really, after he answered it, um, he could have actually just said, hey, you dumbass. <laughs> but he didn't. He was real like gracious. And he said, hey, it might be this. And I was like, oh, how did I not think of that? Anyway, so the name of the uh, YouTube channel is Color Up. If you want to learn more about craps, it's easy to follow. He's got like a, a real craps table and everything else. But anyway, enough about that. Let me show you how 
I would recommend somebody that's never played craps in Atlantic City how they would play it. Yeah, you have to use your imagination because the craps table is a lot bigger than this. I don't know if I said a lot strongly enough. It's a lot bigger. When you walk up to the table, you're going to take your money and you can put it on the table. First, you want to make sure that you can put it on your table. Well, not that you can, but if there's an active roller, like you see a lot of action at the table and people are throwing the dice right then, then hold off and the dealer will signal to you that it's okay to throw the money on the table. Now you put the money on the table, right? Okay. You know, in Lenox City, I haven't seen any craps tables. Now I have seen some $10 craps tables over at resorts, but that is a rarity. Typically they're $15 minimum tables. That means that means that it's a minimum bet of $15, if, if you didn't know what that meant. So you throw your money on the table, he's gonna get a bunch of chips, he's gonna stack them up nice and neat for you, he's gonna give you $300 worth of uh, chips. I'm making an, an assumption here that you just wanna get into the craps game and just feel the vibe, see if it's for you, maybe make a couple bucks, but you don't want to get all kinds of crazy when you're there. So it's your first time going up to the board or up to the craps game. The dealer will give you change for whatever you buy in for. I mean, if you're at a $15 table, I mean, I've seen guys buy in for $50 um, and then just play a couple bets here and there. I usually buy in for two or $300 minimum. Quick story. Last time I played craps a couple weeks ago, where was I? At the Borgata? No, I was at... Re Resort? No, no, no. I was at the Hard Rock. I bought it for three hundred dollars, and I walked away with nine hundred. So I won six hundred bucks. That was a nice little score on a three hundred dollar buy-in. So you'll get your chips. You'll take them, and there'll be a spot like over here that you'll put them. Now, as long as uh, there's no point, you're going to take. This is going to be your initial bet. This is where I'm going with this, so that you don't have to feel like an idiot. You're going to take fifteen dollars. That's three five dollar ones. You're gonna put it on a pass line. Now, I'm going over this real fast, so forgive me if I'm missing something. You gotta to go to Color Up and he'll show you all the basics. But this is, you're gonna put your money on the pass line. And that means that there's no numbers established yet. I'm gonna get there. Now, the shooter's gonna shoot, right? That's a four. That's called the come out roll. Now, come out roll, the only way that you can get hurt on the pass line is if you get craps, which is 2, 3, or 12. On the come out roll, if a 7 or 11 is rolled, then you win. You'd win even money, and the dealer would put your money right next to this, and then you take that money and you stack it up in your rack. Now, if another number comes out besides seven or eleven if the four five six eight nine or ten comes out then there's a point established that's what those boxes up there are now this board is so small you're not going to be able to get the uh, you're not going to be able to to really get the full meaning but let's just say that nine rolled now they're going to move this chip and it's going to say on and the number nine is the point point. Now listen <coughs> You don't have to do anything else. You could just leave that money on the pass line as is. I need more action when I go down there, so I'm gonna be making more bets. But if it's your first time at the craps table, just leaving a pass line bet isn't a bad idea. You're gonna get the feel, you're gonna feel the environment and everything else. Well then, okay, well then, what does this mean, Harry, with having a pass line bet and the nine is established? That's a great question. Let me show you. Now that the point's established, the number nine, you have your pass line bet there. Now the dice, whoever was rolling, is still going to be rolling. Now, the five doesn't affect you. There's one thing that's going to, well, if a seven comes out now that the point has been established, you're going to lose this money. If a nine comes out before big red, then you're going to win. I could really end the video there and just say, hey, listen, go up, put the minimum amount that you can onto the pass line and see what happens. Buy in for $100. Get the feel of the craps table. You'll have a good time. However, I'm going to give you a couple of little, 
other little bets. Now, craps is one of the best games to play in the casino as far as the odds. Like if you're, if you're playing like the big wheel or slot machines and stuff like that, the odds don't compare to craps. A couple of the bets within the craps table are some of the best, if not the best, bets to make in a casino. When you have your money on that pass line on the initial roll, because a seven is the most likely combination that's going to come out, you actually, and I mean, look at color up just to double check these, but you're actually even with the casino. The casino doesn't have any advantage over you. So now that a point's established, what can you do? This is what, I mean, I would, I would recommend. I'm not telling you to do it, but I'm recommending putting double odds. That's what this is called. You put double odds behind that. Now, you can remove these odds whenever you want. You can't remove the pass line uh, bet, though. Now you have odds there. Let's say a bunch of numbers are coming out. So you got a six. That doesn't affect you. What comes out here? A number eight. Uh, that doesn't affect you. What is this? Snake eyes. That doesn't affect you, right? There's a bunch of rolls coming out. There's an 11. That doesn't affect you. But let's just say, out of coincidence, you're a lucky first-time winner. And a nine. woo A nine just came out. Well, you win. Here's the great thing about that odds bet behind the pass line. The odds are true odds. Like the casino's not making any money off of you. There's no benefit to them. Like it's a great bet. On this front line, pass line, you're going to get paid even money. So you're going to get paid 15 back. This one back here, you put double odds, which means you had $30 back here. Right? That's six chips. I, and double check with color up, but I think you could pay seven to six. So you'd actually make $35 back here. So that would be a $50 winner for you. Listen, I know my Aunt Lucy is probably watching this and she's saying, but Harry, Harry, she's got that New York accent. Hey, Harry, show us how you play. That's what I want to know. So I'm going to show you how I play. I play a little bit more conservatively in the, in the beginning. And then once I'm playing with the casino's money, which hopefully happens, definitely doesn't happen all the time, then I loosen up a little bit and get some more action. Here's how I'm going to bet when I get to the casino. Because it's $15, right? So I'll buy in for $300. That's really not that big of a buy-in on a $15 table. Like if you go out to Vegas or some of these other smaller towns that have casinos, I think you could find $5 craps tables, which would be really fun. Like you're not going to get hurt that much. It's $5 limit. But let me show you what I do down in Atlantic City because if you're watching this, most of the people that are subscribed are in Jersey. All right, so let me show you what I'll do. I'll buy in for $300. Let's just say I have $300 worth of chips over here. Now, I don't have all the good chips, so... You're gonna have to bear with me. I'm going up. I'm waiting for the. Uh, I'm waiting for. Uh, uh, I'm waiting for the come out roll, and I'm putting fifteen dollars on the pass line. Right. That's all I got right there. Now, once the number is established, let's say it's a nine, like it was before. Right. I'm gonna put double odds back here, so I'm gonna put thirty thirty dollars back here, and then I'm gonna lay. No, I'm not gonna lay. I'm gonna place the six and eight. Here's a couple tips from Harry. You don't have to know everything about craps. Like I said, the dealers are pretty nice. And the dealers are working off of tips. So the nicer they are, the more tips they'll get. So this is what I would do. I already know at a $15 table, if I'm going to place the six and eight, then it's gonna be a minimum of $18 each in order to get paid the true odds. So that's gonna, I'm gonna say, let's, uh, I'm not even gonna say place, I'm gonna say six and eight, please. And I'm gonna put my money out there. Now, if I don't have exact change, that's okay. He'll make change for me. He's gonna put, $18 on the six and eight for me. That's not 18, but you get the point. Now, before when I was showing you that when you had the pass line bet and a nine came out, you won the pass line, right? But you had to wait for that one number to come out before big red. By the way, when you're at the craps table, don't say seven. If you need to say that number, say big red, okay? Don't say the number. There's a lot of superstitious people out there. I start becoming one of them. So now, because I got the six and the eight plus, I got the pass line with the nine, I got three numbers working for me. So now, as the dice are coming out, if eight, well, that was a 10, that didn't help me, right? Let's just say a six comes out, right? So a six comes out, I get paid on my six. So $18 is gonna get paid $21. 
He's going to he's going to say, "Okay," and he's going to put put my money over here, right? I'm going to maybe bump it up one. I'm going to bump it up six. So now I got 24 out there. I can feel myself getting ahead of myself. And I don't want to scare anybody out there. So if you've never played craps before, I'm suggesting that you go and you try that pass line. And then ask the dealer after you're, you're there. Like, hey, you got any suggestions? It's my first time at the table. I know about the, uh, the pass line bet. And they'll probably be more than happy or just stay there with the pass line bed up there and feel the vibe of the table. Who knows? You can walk away. You know what the world record for um for throwing is? Four hours and 18 minutes from a grandmother that never threw dice before. At the Borgata, she threw for 154 rolls before she sevened out. Oh, I said it. 